So there was this interesting question uh, on the community about uh, Jira automation uh, rule with two web hooks, one incoming and one uh, outgoing. Now the question is, uh, uh, let me first try to read the question from Laura and uh, Laura is asking, I have created a rule that triggers upon an incoming webhook and further sends a webhook via get request. The requests are working, but if I want to access the data from the webhook using smart values, which webhook does the smart value reference? The incoming one or the outgoing one? Is there a way to access the last one, outgoing get request? So I'm not exactly sure if I understood the correct, the question correctly, but I think what you're trying to ask is if there is a, a rule which is triggered um, from outside, because you can do that. You can trigger a rule uh, using uh, maybe a unique URL that you will get if you want to, let us say, do that uh, using automation. Uh, let me just show you how it looks like. So if you go to the rule and if you create a new rule, there is an option here called uh, incoming web hook. Now if you select this, you will get this unique uh, URL which uh, you can of course uh, use. And uh, when you when you're using this, uh, when you're using this unique URL, from that tool from where you want to call this URL, you can pass in some data and I, I have made a video on this topic, I have talked about this. Now when you receive uh, the when you receive the request, uh, your rule can be triggered and your rule can further call maybe another uh, REST API. Now, if, if your rule is calling another system or maybe Jira itself, uh, you can actually wait for the response and the response that you get in your uh, in your uh, return, I mean, when you let us make a REST call, you might get a re you might get a response and you want to maybe do something using that response. Usually, that is how your REST API works. So you can actually use one smart value called uh, webhook response body. For example, if you are, let us say, uh, calling Jira's own internal REST API, you will get a response. For example, in my case, I was trying to retrieve the change log of an issue, and I wanted to wanted to do something with the change log. I wanted to pass the history, like all the values in the change log. So you can do that with the help of webhook response dot body. Uh, and of course, based on uh, whatever you want to do with the response, you can take a look at the JSON. And if you want to learn how it works, you can you need to basically spend some time understanding uh, the uh, REST API on uh, Jira Cloud because you can do a lot of wonderful things with the REST API. So if I understood your question correctly, Laura, I think you are uh, trying to access the body of the response that you get when you are calling uh, uh, any other system using REST API. So you can do that with the help of webhook response smart value. And that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today. Thank you very much.